To scale the model trading and serving, the following points should be taken into consideration. The mirrored strategy. Multiple GPUs and TPUs on a node to train on subset of data and then sync with each other. That is single node or synchronous mode. The multi-work distributed strategy. Data is split across the multiple nodes. So each node splits the data further into subset per GPU or TPU. That's like multiple nodes work in the synchronous model. Hardware accelerations. TensorFlow and PyTorch benefit from accelerators. Scikit-learn and XGBoost do not benefit from accelerators. However, Scikit-learn benefits from the memory optimized machines. So use the tf.data API to best utilize the accelerators or use cloud TPU for the supported models. Use multi-worker mirrored strategy for distributed training of TensorFlow models and scalable model analysis. For example, the cloud storage output files or Dataflow, BigQuery, Google Data Studio. Use the tf.data API to best utilize the accelerator. So achieving peak training performance on GPUs and the TPUs requires an efficient input pipeline that will deliver data for the next step before the current step has finished. To help you build flexible and efficient data input pipelines for TensorFlow models, the TF data API provides a set of functions like the map, batch, cache, prefetch, shuffle, repeat, and interleaves. In addition, using some larger batch sizes will improve the utilization of the accelerators. So for more information, you need to see the better performance with the TF data API. Use the cloud TPU for supported models. If you are training one of the official supported models for TensorFlow and the PyTorch, use the Cloud TPU. Cloud TPU is built around Google designed custom ASIC chips and is specifically built to accelerate deep learning computations. You can run the training jobs on the AI platform training using the Cloud TPU, which offers Pricing that can significantly reduce the low cost. For more information about training the custom models, you need to see the TPUs. Use multi-worker mirrored strategy for distributed training of the TensorFlow models. The multi-worker mirrored strategy class, it's gonna implement synchronous distributed training across the multiple workers each potentially with multiple GPUs. Each variable in the model is mirrored across all of the replicas and efficient all reduced algorithms are used to communicate the variable updates across the devices. This strategy is scalable, performant and does not need a parameter server so it reduces the training infrastructure cost. For more information, you need to see the distributed training with the TensorFlow. Stream data from cloud storage for training the scikit learning models. So when you train a scikit learn model on the larger data set, downloading the entire data set into the training worker and loading it into the memory does not scale. In these cases, consider using the TensorFlow's stream read file io api which is pre-installed on the worker virtual machine so consider using distributed xg boost with the larger data sets so when you're training an xg boost model on some larger data sets you can benefit from the built-in distributed xg boost algorithm because the model runs at a scale using multiple virtual machines in parallel. 
control the lifetime of the training job in the ai platform training job make sure that you set the max running time to limit the running time of the job if the training job is still running after the duration ai platform training should cancel it so that you no longer incur the costs use early stopping in the trading of the models to limit the cost of an ml training job recommendation is that you implement an early stopping behavior either when the model reaches a certain predictive performance level or when there is no improvement in the predictive performance of the model itself prepare the environment in a container image if the training environment requires a lot of dependencies that take time to install so use a container image installing these dependencies adds considerable time overhead in the beginning of the training job using a prepared container image image instead can save the time and reduce the cost and you can submit the training container image using the ai platform training with some custom containers use automatic hyper parameter tuning ai platform provides a black box optimization service that helps you automatically tune hyper parameters in the complex ml models when you are configuring a hyper parameter tuning job recommendation is that you set enable trial early stopping attribute value to true this helps limit the cost of the hyper parameter tuning job if you have previous hyper parameter tuning job you can set the resume previous job id to true to start from a state that was partially optimized this makes it possible to reuse the knowledge gained in the earlier hyper parameter tuning job and in addition the recommendation is that you set some max parallel trials to be between 2 and max trials uh, 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 to in order to converge faster to good hyper parameter values which in turn will reduce the cost of the hyper parameter tuning clean up the artifacts that are produced by the old jobs so running many training jobs for a longer period of time can uh, produce a considerable number of artifacts there may be some logs checkpoints so retaining these artifacts will incur unnecessarily storage cost and if you don't need it you can simply remove them from the cloud storage data flow a unified stream and batch data processing that's serverless fast and cost effective so fully managed data processing service automated provisioning and management of processing resources horizontal auto scaling of worker resources to maximize the resource utilization oss community driven innovation with the apache beam sdk reliable and consistent exactly once processing data flow key features includes number 1 auto scaling of resources and dynamic work rebalancing so minimize the pipeline latency maximize resource utilization and reduce processing cost per data record with the data aware resource auto scaling data inputs are partitioned automatically and constantly rebalance to even out worker resource utilization and reduce the effect of hotkeys on pipeline performance number 2 flexible scheduling and pricing for the batch processing so for processing with flexibility in job scheduling time such as overnight jobs flexible resource scheduling or flex rs offers a lower price for batch processing these flexible jobs are placed into a queue with a guarantee that they will be retrieved for execution within a 6 hour window number 3 ready to use real time ai patterns 
enabled through ready to use patterns data flows real time ai capabilities allow for real time reactions with near human intelligence to large torrents of events customers can build intelligent solutions ranging from predictive analysis and anomaly detection to real time personalization and other advanced analytics use cases number 4 is data flow sql it lets you use the sql skills so that we can develop streaming data flow pipelines right from the bigquery web ui you can join streaming data from pubsub with files in cloud storage or tables in the bigquery write results into the bigquery and build some real time dashboards with the help of google sheets or the other bi tools available number 5 is the data flow templates the templates in the data flow will allow you to easily share the pipelines with the team members and across the organization or take advantage of many google provided templates to implement some simple but useful data processing tasks with flex templates you can create template out of any data flow pipeline number 6 is the notebooks integration iteratively build the pipelines from the ground up with the ai platform notebooks and deploy with the data flow runner so apache beam pipeline step by step inspecting the pipeline graphs in a real read evaluation print loop or repl workflow it is available through google's ai platform and notebooks gonna allow you to write some pipelines in an intuitive environment with the latest data science and machine learning frameworks number 7 is inline monitoring data flow inline monitoring lets you directly access the job matrix to help with troubleshooting of the batch and streaming pipelines you can access monitoring charts at both the step and worker level visibility and set alerts for conditions such as stale data and high system latency number 8 is the customer managed encryption keys you can create a batch or streaming pipeline that is protected with a customer managed encryption key or cmek in short or access this cmek protected data in sources and sinks number 9 is data flow vpc service control so data flows integration with the vpc service controls provides additional security for the data processing environment by improving the ability to mitigate the risk of data exfiltration number 10 or the last one is this private ips so turning off the public uh, ips allows you to better secure the data processing infrastructure so by not using the public ip addresses for data flow workers you also lower the number of public ip addresses you consume against the google cloud project quota for more details check the link in the description learn with wits labs success certified